beautiful blessed beings of love and light. Natasha Monique here with your weekly collective tarot and oracle card reading. This is for the week of June 8th, nope, June 2nd to June 8th, 2019. You're already in June. Lots of stuff going on this week. We have the new moon on June 3rd. We have Mercury going direct in Cancer the very next day on the 4th. And we've got Venus direct in Gemini on the 8th. Ending the week out with Venus switching into Gemini, direct in Gemini. So stay tuned for further videos on those occurrences as they come. I'm using Celtic Tarot and the Earth Magic Oracle for this week's reading. And if you would like a personal reading with me, please do either follow me on Instagram, Face Fear and Spit, and send me a direct message there. Or you can email me at tarot.tosh.balance at gmail.com and I will get you on your calendar or give you more information about the Awakening Sacred Alchemy program. So let's get started with the reading for this week. This is the collective reading for all signs. Just our general theme, our overall themes. I'm going to pull five cards, earth, air, blah, blah, blah. No, I'm not. Five cards, mind, body, soul, and spirit. And then the fifth card is our oracle card, and that's the messages from the universe. All right, let me just shuffle these a little more. These cards are a little stiff. I haven't used them in a while. I did clean them, though. Definitely did pass them over my smudge, my sage little bundle that I have here. It's still smoking for us. Sending you cleansing energy to wherever you are. shuffled before I started the video, but I like shuffling on the video. I don't know why. I just do. So, let's see what we got. Mind, body, soul, and spirit. And let's pull our card from the universe. Move my sage back. great card to start off for this first week in June. We have summer solstice, which that's coming up. It is the 21st. Yay! That's the summer solstice. So summer solstice radiance is all about shining your light nice and bright. Shining the core of who you are. So do some soul searching, consult your higher self, and really tap into who you are as a being as your spiritual self and how that connects to your human self. How you can bring your spiritual self to light in your human form. So that's what you want to focus on this week. We've got a lot of self-discovery going on in the cards and we'll continue with that. Why this is so important to do some core work, solar plexus, sacral chakra, do some work on those. Really embody and walk in who you are this week. Let that shine out. So for our mind, our mental, we have the King of Wands reversed. This is like attitudes, having attitudes and feeling stiff and steif. Either you're the one pushing off the attitude or there's a male figure in your life that's just giving you so much attitude, like disappointed in what you're doing, disappointed in where you're going. And now this disappointment could very well come from you following your passions but not getting approval from a male authority in your life, be it a father, an uncle, a brother, something like that, a significant other, say, no, you're wasting your time doing this, therefore dimming your light. So don't allow these person's thoughts or actions, or even your own, because it very well could be your own, your own divine masculine within you, because we all have divine feminine and masculine energy within us, saying, no, you really can't do this. Nah, you can't do it. Mm -mm. That's bullshit. So make sure you are really putting the core of who you are out there and dispelling any fear, negativity, and doubt that you're either hearing externally or that you're generating in and of yourself. 
actions, we have the high priestess reversed. Part of the reason why this shit is getting to you is because you're not trusting your intuition. I know that can be hard because we all think that, oh no, that my intuition can't possibly be right. It is. Your intuition is right. Follow your gut feeling. Follow your gut. If your gut says, no, I shouldn't be doing this, or if your gut says, yeah, I should go ahead and go for it, follow that. Act on intuition this week. Let your magical self lead. Your higher self lets you know what you need to do. Those are the actions that you need to take. You'll get those intuitive clues, so you need to follow them. Follow your intuitive clues. We've got for our emotions, our soul card, the three of wands. This is allow yourself to venture out. Your intuition is going to very well tell you, go do this. Go do that. Go here, go there, go explore. Listen, follow it. It will be beneficial for you today to really get out of your comfort zone and venture out. Get all the way out of your comfort zone. It will make you feel so much more whole and at peace if you're following your intuition, dispelling any negativities, and going out there. Going out there is another way to strengthen your inner self, your inner being, the core of who you are. So explore. Explore with your emotions. Explore physically, like physically go out and explore places, and also explore different depths of your emotions. Now, our higher self, messages from our higher self, is the king, um, the knight of Athens. Knight of Athens is, again, telling us, go for it. Go for it. Go forth and prosper. Go ahead. Do it. There is no time like the present. There is no point in waiting anymore. This is who you are. It's who you are. So charge forward with it. Charge forward and get it done. Cut out any negativity, any doubt. Follow your intuition and don't be afraid to explore. Explore and venture out right now. Right now is the time for you to do that. Now is the time. There's no better time in the present because guess what? Nothing exists but the present. That's all that exists is the present. The past is already gone. There's nothing you can do about that. And the future isn't here yet. So all that matters is right now. So follow your instincts and your intuition right now. Let your freak flag fly and do you true, boo-boo. Do you true. Peace, love, and blessings. Have a beautiful week. And please do remember to like, subscribe, and share. Love ya. Mwah.